in downtown San Angelo is a business with over 80 years of history in the community. They're only they're only they're one of only 500 pharmacies in the U.S. still making in-house medicines. KCN's Victor Glenn has the details. Myers Drug in downtown San Angelo has been a staple of the community since it began over 80 years ago in 1934. But there is something else special about the pharmacy besides its nearly a century in business. It is a compounding pharmacy. What does this mean? It means that the pharmacy makes a lot of its medication on site, in house, and can tailor it to the specific patient ordering it. One of the benefits to compounding is that we have a greater knowledge of things that we can do other than traditional medicine to help you. So if you come in and traditional medicine hasn't been working for you, we can actually take uh, our knowledge and apply other things and then work with your doctor to get you an individualized prescription. Uh, and I can't tell you the pride that comes with that. While it used to be common for pharmacies to compound, the rise of corporate big box pharmacies with generalized dosages and strengths of medication has led to a drastic reduction in the number of pharmacies that still use this practice. Out of about 4,000 compounders in the United States, Myers Drug is one of only 500 accredited compounding pharmacies. And the process does entail a lot of work in addition to the strict standards required to maintain accreditation. Having to keep up with the paperwork and the ins and outs because we want to keep our patients, you know, safe. It's a lot of hard work. We want to make sure we're doing everything right, documenting everything. So, and knowing that we were just reaccredited and that we got a really good score on it. It's really good knowing that we're, we're doing good at what we do. Now under the ownership of Micah and Kristen Pratt, with Doug and Melissa Chadwick staying on to manage operations, Myers Drug and the newly christened Myers Boutique look forward to serving the San Angelo community for at least another 80 years. Victor Glenn, KSAN News. Thank you.